Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 31. This week I'm going to be demonstrating how you can use the camera axe to photograph a popping balloon using the microphone sensor. So before I get into the setup I wanted to explain a little bit about popping balloons and the different effects you can get by filling the balloon with just slightly different things. So this one is filled with uh, mostly air and then just a little bit of water and that'll create a mist when it pops which is a pretty neat effect. I've also tried filling it with just a little bit of powder and then the more messy version is to fill the balloon completely with water which creates neat effects but uh, be prepared for a little bit of mess when you do that version. Now I'll demonstrate the menu setup for the camera axe. I'm just holding the activate button down while turning it on to reset the camera axe to its factory defaults. And now all I need to do is plug in a microphone sensor to sensor port number one and a flash into camera flash number one. This is what the uh, microphone sensor looks like. And that's really all you need to do for setup. And then you just hit activate and it's ready to go. The reason is because the default menu settings are compatible with the microphone sensor. I'll quick go through those though. Um, so on device number one will be the flash and sensor port number one is the microphone so we're saying those are interacting. Uh, delay in milliseconds. Now I'm going to have to tweak this a little bit to get the right amount of uh, delay but you get that sort of by experimentation so if it's taking a photograph too soon you will uh, increase the delay and if it's too late you'll decrease the delay. But we'll start with zero. Uh, also with a microphone sensor because sound travels fairly slowly through air you can actually fine tune the, the timing by just moving the uh, microphone sensor closer or near the source of the sound. Pre-focus is not something we care about because we're not actually going to be attaching the camera to the camera axe, it's just the flash. So leave that at no. Uh, trigger type with the microphone sensor, high is fine. Uh, trigger value is uh, the value where the camera axe will trigger and you can see it's fluctuating quite a bit and that's because I'm talking. If I snap my fingers it'll go spike up over 700 which basically means that I've got a good value here for a trigger high uh, setting with power it doesn't really matter for this uh, setup. That, that's pretty much an overview of the settings so we're good to go in that department. All I need to do is turn on the uh, photo mode and to do that I hit the activate button and then when I hit this you can see that light goes on and that actually means that the flash is being triggered. So from this angle you can see the setup a little bit better. Back here we have the camera axe and that's ready to trigger the flash. Uh, right here is the microphone and that is uh, close to the balloon so that the sound traveling through the air won't add too much delay. Over here we've got uh, the camera and it's set up fully in manual mode. I've preset the aperture, ISO, uh, shutter speed to what I want and I do have the shutter speed set to two seconds right now so I'll have to turn off the lights and then we expect that the flash will light the scene during those two seconds of exposure otherwise it would just be black. And over here is the flash and it's going to be activated by the camera axe. Now I'll turn the camera X on, hit the activate button. Now whenever there's a loud noise, there'll be a flash. So here we are in the dark room. It's not too exciting, but I will hit the shutter button and then we will take the photograph by popping the balloon. Here's a few pictures I took during the session. Thanks for watching.